and thank the Lord. Amen. God is good. I'm not going to preach. I'm just going to lead you through some prayers and begin to pray for you and release deliverance. And then the word, of course, also breaks the power of demons and devils. Demons hate worship. They hate the word. They hate the presence of God. And so today we're going to pray for a lot of different things and believe God for deliverance. But first, I need you to agree with me that you will receive deliverance today. And if you're not saved, if you're here today and you're backslidden or you're away from God, the first thing you need to do is you need to repent. The word repent simply means to change the way you think and to turn your life around. Make a decision. Repent and believe the gospel. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation, unto deliverance. The gospel is the good news that Jesus Christ has come. He has died. He was raised again from the dead. He rose again. He ascended. He sits on the right hand of God the Father. And that through his death and resurrection, your sins can be forgiven. And all the powers of hell can be broken off of your life. One of the major things that demons hold on to is sin. If you have sin in your life, demons will be with with that sin and so let's pray this prayer together i want you to just bow your head and you can close your bibles and just get ready to say these prayers with me i'm going to share some things about unforgiveness and breaking curses but first we're going to deal with any sin that may be in your life repeat after me say heavenly father i believe that jesus christ came and died i believe that he became sin for me I believe he took my sins upon himself on the cross. And because of his blood, my sins are forgiven. I claim the blood of Jesus for cleansing from my sins and all my iniquities. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. I repent of anything, any way of thinking any lifestyle that is contrary to the word of God I turn away from it and I ask you Heavenly Father to forgive me for any sin that I've committed knowingly or unknowingly I repent I ask for forgiveness and I receive cleansing today in Jesus name Amen now, I want any woman that has had an abortion, I want you to pray this with me. And I want you to do it. We're going to do it in a way that no one has to know that you've ever done this. So let's all pray this together, even if you've never been involved in one. Say this. Say, Heavenly Father, I join my brothers and sisters in repentance for all abortion, any murder that we have committed against unborn children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, forgive our society and forgive us if we have shed innocent blood. I break the curse of murder, the curse of the vagabond, curses of guilt, shame, and condemnation. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke any spirit of death that would follow my life because of an abortion. In the name of Jesus, I renounce these spirits and I command them to leave me in Jesus' name. Now say this to me. Say, Heavenly Father, you said in your word, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, it shall be delivered. I call upon the name of Jesus. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I believe that he was buried and on the third day he rose again. I believe he ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God. I believe he is coming again. I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I believe that Jesus is my deliverer. In the name of Jesus, I call upon you, Lord to deliver me and set me free from any spirit in my life that is operating 
that is against your will. I break all ungodly soul ties that I have with any person that I've sinned with or been involved with that is not serving you. In the name of Jesus, I loose myself from every assignment of hell, every spirit of darkness. And in the name of Jesus, I tell the enemy, I belong to Jesus. You cannot stay in my life. I remind you that you are defeated. You have been spoiled. Your power has been broken. And through the Holy Ghost, I believe that today I will receive deliverance for my life. I command every hidden spirit that would hide in my life. You must be exposed. You cannot stay. I do not want you. I want to be free. I want to live holy. I want to live clean. I am saved. I am a child of God. You have no right to operate in my body, in my mind, in my soul, in any area of my life. I renounce you. You cannot stay against my will, but you must leave. In the name of Jesus, I believe today that deliverance is the children's bread. I am a child of God. Deliverance belongs to me. I have a right to it. And by faith, I receive it today in Jesus' name. Amen. How many believe God today? Amen.